main bluff for Texa, I think, would be, especially for this sizing, would be a hand like 6 7. So we don't want to block that. Oh! And we have ace 10 versus 6 7. Why range if you can just put people on a goddamn hand? Pay attention guys, we have currently opened up a limited amount of spots for free one-on-one -on -one coaching with me and Adam for the people who now join the Mechanics of Poker program. So are you ready to improve your game? Go over to the site and sign up to the Mechanics of Poker program. Also make sure to join our Discord channel and sign up to our newsletter so you don't miss out on any new promotions. Hello, 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 my poker buddies. How are you guys all today? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Me also, guys, I was working on a, a little master class. Yes, the master class on uh, turn check, raise versus high stabbers, GTO, queen five, four, nine. This is the, the sheet from the small blind versus big blind master class. We're gonna talk a little bit about exploitation, I see here. Exploiting the population, turn blocking, bet check, betting, okay. Some exploited stuff in there, some GTO stuff in there. I have to say, guys, it's starting to look very nice, very nice. Going for the small race, they're quite deep. Did he already check the flop or was it the... Especially, especially at higher stakes where, for example, he opens 2.2, probably out of position is even defending ace four off. Um, is defending any two suited cards in this region so probably a spot uh, where maybe even defend no by far off is maybe a little bit too 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 much but definitely a spot where tax here on a two-ton board deuce five is gonna already slow down a little bit but actually i think he decided to slow down here on the turn and then raise the river if i'm not mistaken Definitely don't mind checking here. Let's say, for example, we have a hand like Ace King or something. It's a fine check and now raise the river. I think it's a fine play. Richard is here for the chicken song. Well, I, I do have to say, guys, chicken song on this table with Helmut's 464, Tex here, Munis, Zas, Dex. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a lot of chicken songs, right? I think there's going to be way more. Incredibly strong and aggressive play. Way more strong and aggressive plays today. Like this one, the river race. Quite a strong and aggressive play, if I might say. Where are you watching this Weko? This is, as you can see here, source. Twitch.tv high six poker stream. Go give the guy uh, a follow, then you can re-watch previous streams. And he likes to real high stakes. And then what I do, I record the session and I'm here to review it. And I'm here to send you guys over to his channel if you want to... Uh, Look back, watch back more high stakes footage. We either see some donkey donkeys or we riot. Okay, okay. Uh, I cannot, I cannot really promise a donkey donkeys. Let me see. Do I know any of these players like to do donkey donkey? You know, not everyone has that donkey 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 skills in them, right? It's a, uh, it's a very, very advanced play. Very advanced play. Something that people don't really fuck with, you know? But you know, we had a spot, so if I see a spot for a little donkey donkey, I will uh, definitely let you guys know and educate you. I'm probably one of the few coaches that would advocate dunk betting strategies. So if you want to learn dunk betting strategies, I'm the guy you call. Okay. A 3-3-3 three, three, three board. I think he's also doing a lot of small betting, but I think on this board he could uh, up his sizing a little bit. And he's indeed going for half pot. And we got a little half pot here on the river, which makes a lot of sense as well. Check to check. Uh, I don't think Munis has a lot of bluffs. And basically, Dex is the person that is still unkept. As he will still... Or potentially, it's way more likely that he's checking twice with very strong hands than Munis. So... Um, therefore, usually the imposition doesn't use all too big of sizings uh, and even if you have a very strong hand let's say you do have aces you don't want to go too big and discourage any action Linus and ODB have dunk bets in their strategy yes they do I think it was in one of the last high stakes reels that uh, the flop Linus cut from the small blind flop came queen 7-4 and Linus regular watcher of the wacko show apparently he threw a little donkey donkey 
And then in the end, for the people who remember, we played a little chicken song. Yeah, it still increases all the way down to Ace King Deuce. Not like I said, on the Ace King Deuce, but the Ace King 8, Ace King 6. Don't understand. 5 9 Deuce. A 1 third. It's probably the least preferred sizing, but the uh, text here is definitely uh, someone who likes to use the 1 third sizing more frequently. Then, for example, if you're going to use 1 third a lot on these kind of boards, bet 3 betting, for example, becomes an important part of your strategy. And in general, knowing how to play against check raises, because that will happen quite often. Check, check. Expect to see a lot of small bets here from Zus. And right when I said that he bets the three quarters, three quarters, I think, is going to be... Um, reserved, mainly, I think, for a hand like King Queen or something. Just to name one uh, exact hand. I personally play a lot from small bet here in this spot. Small bet or maybe even a bigger bet. Don't really like to use these kind of sizings in these kind of spots too often. And we actually face a race. And we saw this uh, on the other spot as well, right? From the other position. So Tex here definitely uh, pumping, up the, pumping up that river aggression here. And yeah, I was gonna say what what would be good bluffing hands from Tex here. Probably you want to exactly block those hands that we just mentioned, right? The the top pairs. So King Jack is a good candidate. I was thinking Ace King uh, could also be a good candidate, especially at that stack depth. Maybe he will three bet Ace Queen off a little bit less. I don't know if if if, if Tex here will have jams, but and Zos made an interesting float on the flop five nine three. Or at least interesting, you could also check raise. Don't think folding is really an option. Check five deuce. Ah, I've studied quite a little small but big blind. A board that uh, you should slow down on a little bit. I think a lot of people uh, on, on GTO correctly over C battle of spots, small by big blind, except for like the low connected type of boards. I think most people just uh, check range ish. He does now decide to check and I think Texier should use some small bets. He goes for the half pot, which I think if someone over C bets, I think uh, I would prefer a little bit of a smaller sizing here. But hey, we don't know that of, uh, of Munis. But I think a lot of the hands that you are, you might want to bet are worth this amount a five or like Ace three or like six three, because I think Munis could bet any ace ten, ace queen, ace king, and check all the turn. And a three quarter sizing on the river. Main bluff for Texa, I think, would be especially for this sizing would be a hand like six seven, seven eight. Let me see, is that a good on the turn? No, it's like something to six six eight, six seven. I think those would be his primary bluffs. So we don't want to block that. Oh! And we have ace 10 versus 6 7. Why range if you can just put people on a goddamn hand? Okay. How sick is that? How sick is that? Oh my god. Am I the best? Say it. Admit it. Say it. Say it. You have to say it. And Munis actually has an excellent bluff catcher. Uh, since he's blocking jack 10 and he's blocking ace 4 and he's unblocking the he's unblocking the the, the bluffs like I said the, which were mainly at the lower region do you need some help playing 3 bet pots out of position well for that we have created our master classes in which we dedicate one coaching program to dive very deep into a specific spot go over to the site pokerambition.com slash masterclasses and eliminate those weaknesses let me see Okay, very connected board. Half pot. My preferred strategy. An eight turn? I, this could be it, guys. This could be it. So is he gonna turn a little donkey donkey? Ah, he checks, he doesn't listen. He doesn't even listen to the Weko. He listens to uh, Mr. You Gordon. You fucking donk. 
You do it again, I remember in a video before I've told you to not dunk. Why do you do that? Why do you do that? So dumb. Okay. Heard it here first. Helmets coached by Gordon. So now the river is an eight. So Zas is gonna check back um, like some overpairs. And an overpair here is quite a strong hand, right? It's very unlikely for your opponent to have an eight. As he could have maybe dunked it on the turn. Uh, and it's just statistically speaking, combo, combo torquely speaking, it's very unlikely. So now Zos can suddenly have some jams. As we suddenly have quite a lot of boats. And we have a snap fold of Helmut, who is who was probably just bluffing. So again, and this is usually what you will see in terms of when people bluff, etc. It's usually because the spot makes sense from a range advantage perspective. And then hand-wise, they usually have some sort of hand like we saw with Tex here, right? That blocks his value. This is kind of the, you could say the mathematics. I haven't, I've never actually read that book, The Mathematics of Poker. But you could say that these are like uh, the mathematics of poker. Why so much min raising? New meta. I think uh, somewhere between min and two and a half is in general the most frequent uh, raise size used. And usually what most players I think do is the earlier you are, the more they start at min. And then the later you go, you up your sizing. I think that's the most common trend in terms of raising. But over the years, we've seen everything. A little bit here, three by pot, a little better from Helmuts. Don't really know if he also has a flatting range or if he plays three bet only. It does kind of change your strategy. But that's more because your range kind of changes. But I see most players, most players, they, they, they like to just use three bet a lot. As we all know, I'm a little bit more of the flat call. Okay, okay, we have a four belt pot. All right. And then we also, of course, have the YouTube stuff. We have the Academy stuff. We have other poker ambition stuff. We have the table team also for winning poker. I used to have it, but they changed something. They're not allowing uh, custom mods anymore for bot, per bot detection, I believe. So for bot, c bet, probably just range. Call ace is a very interesting turn. Would say we want to implement some checks. Let's say we have ace five suited. Or let's say we have aces. Don't think we want to be betting those hands. We might bet again with... I would personally approach this spot a little bit more... A little bit more polarized. I'm trying to think of a hand that I might... Okay, he goes for a very small bet. Could indicate that he's just going to bet range again. Which is also an option. But... Yeah... Because like Helmuts will have 8s, 9s, 10s, which we don't have. Um, so yeah, he's putting a lot of pressure on him, right? He won't really, for example, we can have ace-10 off. He would have folded ace-10 of diamonds. So from just a range perspective, I would say barreling a lot makes sense. But I do think, especially the closer we come towards kings, we're going to be checking more and then add aces and ace-5. But let's say he does have jacks. Uh, like the jack of hearts, jack of hearts, jack of spades or something. A four? Okay, <laughs> Helmut's thinking about it. Is he thinking about a little donkey donkey? Like, hey, fuck it. Seven, eight got there. Guess that could be how you can counter the too much betting with jacks type of strategy. Okay, fuck about for quite a while. Interesting, interesting tank. No fucking clue. And he did have the queens with the queen of spades, and he did think about a bluff. Yeah, so... Every time my read is one off, it's a little bit disappointing. So like, queens... Um, he didn't block the queen. The When I was looking at jacks, I was looking at a jack that blocks ace-jack suited. Maybe he just always calls ace-queen, who knows. Then, obviously, queens is quite good, and he can get some value out of draws. So... Yeah, I think it's a it's a fine strategy. And he was thinking about a little donkey in the river, motherfucker. 
But yeah, I think, you know, he just gets good odds on the turn and tries to outdraw him. I knew he would have had 10 Jack of Spades. It would have been very unlikely for me to put him on Jacks. Where does MMA play? I think he mainly plays GG nowadays and ACR. And also mainly in, uh, in night time. So when, uh, when my eyes are closed, he's taking in the money. From what I believe. A check on the 10 does 5. A check again on the ace. Expect a bigger size bet. Half pot. I would have gone a little bit bigger, but okay. Yeah, I think this hand could bet a little bit bigger. I wanted to go for the checkers on a flop, which makes sense. Didn't bet the turn. So that's why I thought maybe like King Jack Plus is probably your river betting range. So I think that's like worth a bit more than half. Did Flusu and other study mates of yours took a look at the mechanics program? Yes, they did. I uh, obviously I asked them for inputs on various uh, various topics. Why the small bet on this board though? I mean, why not? I mean, if you go to a solver and you say bet one third only, he will give you the GTO strategy for one third only. I mean, Tex here, I think, is one of the biggest winners on high stakes. So don't let that be discouraged. You know, you don't have to use the, the most GTO sizing. I do think personally, uh, I like to use some big bets, but obviously it makes the tree a little bit more complex, especially on later streets. Does he call this? Doesn't he call that? So maybe you will have a less accurate read of what's going on. Jack95 is a good board to split small and big. Yes, I completely agree. The lower the board, the usually a bigger, the smaller size, it kind of uh, goes down in value. Turn and check, check. What, what the fuck went on here? GG, GG. They're already saying it before the hand is played out. Okay, so we have uh, a check on this ace queen nine. Which, personally, I uh, I like to do a lot of checking here on this board. I use more of a polarized strategy, which I'm going to explain to you how I like to approach a spot. But more importantly, because a lot of people, you know, they always love to talk about flop sizing. More importantly, I'm going to explain you why I think certain sizings are preferred and how those kind of strategies play out on later streets. Because you can use a certain strategy on the flop because the solvers say so. But if you then punt enough later on and make huge errors, that strategy is probably not going to be winning. At Poker Vision, what do you expect from the high stakes cash games over little action and few... At Poker Vision, what do you expect from the high stakes cash games over little action and few recreationals? I didn't really understand the question. Yeah, I feel like he's playing differently. I like to look at tech series hands from a year ago and compare them. That's... Uh... So, I'm gonna check, 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 check. River... A lot of hands want to check again. So I would say big bet. Check. I'm looking at the situation right now. Or these big three quarters ish big. Oh, <laughs> he goes very big. 900. That's, I guess, also an option. It's in line with my philosophy how I like to approach these kind of boards. You don't play on GG games are always running there. No, I currently don't play on GG. I will in the in the future. Munis can go probably uh, as wide as any Ace X, I would say. The five doesn't really improve helmets except for King five suited, Queen five suited, Nine five suited, and every time when I say suited, it means it's not a lot of combinations. He actually had the queen five suited, which 
I would say I prefer a check race with this hand. Dun, 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 dun. See you guys. I'm gonna rate you over and see you in the next stream on Tuesday. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Take a look at other videos that we've made. I'm sure you will like them as well. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Twitch and make sure to join our Discord community so you can stay up to date with new content, new promotions that we have running here at Poker Ambition. And if you wanna know more about Poker Ambition and our services, go over to the site, pokerambition.com. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.